Good morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas with EXP Realty. Good morning, this is Mark Vegan. So today, you know, we're doing the iBar series where we're interviewing different business owners and I got my good friend, Mark Vega here. I felt like I wanted to get him on here. So I'm gonna ask him a few questions. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. So first things first, what's your name? What's the name of your business? Uh, my name is Mark Vega. Uh, my company name is MV and JR Construction, LLC. Um, you know, we do a little bit of electrical, uh, remodeling, new construction, a uh, little bit of everything. And so, you know, I always ask people when they're getting into this, what is it that got you into this in the first place? Uh, to be honest, man, something uh, to get me out the streets and stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's what something that pushed me towards electrical, uh, something easy, you know, to get some money in my pocket, basically. Sure. And, you know, you say that it, what if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Like you said, you, you want to get off the streets. You know, what do you think you would be doing right now if this wasn't the path in which you chose? <laughs> uh, man, I, I'll probably be either in jail or, you know, selling some stuff on the corner. Or something, <laughs> you know, so, you know, uh, I definitely wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. you know, talking with you right now. So, uh, you know, that's one of the ways it would have went. But. And you've been doing this for a while now. This isn't your first year doing this. It's been a few years that you've already been in this field and around it, right? Yeah, this will be uh, my fifth year independently, but I've been doing electrical about seven years already. Mm. And you also said that you did early on, you did some home advisor stuff. I mean, there's other things that you did. Uh, yeah, as far as like advertisement, um, you know, uh, we tried out Yelp, uh, home advisor, uh, Angie's List, you know, uh, different sources uh, to just try to generate leads. Um, and, you know, they've been, been working pretty good. And most of the time when people come to you, they call you up, what is it that they're trying to get? Is it a normal thing they ask for? Or what is it that they look uh, for? Mostly to replace like the electrical panel. Uh, sometimes the outlets don't work, you know, and sometimes it's very simple things like just resetting a button on the outlet. Um, you know, it's, it, it just varies. Is there something that you like doing more than something else or it's all kind of you're good with whatever? Uh, I like to doing uh, commercial mostly, mm. uh, you know, residential. You kind of got to deal with the homeowners and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And they're pretty picky, some of them. Yeah. Um, but most of the time, you know, it's pretty simple in and out jobs, you know. And so to kind of follow up on that, what would you say is your favorite thing to do? If somebody calls you, you're like, oh, I love this. You know, like what, what is your favorite work to do? Is it that in and out work or what? Uh, yeah, I mean, mostly because, you know, that's when you get your fast money, you know, mm -hmm. you just go in there a couple hours, you know, get out, you're ready for another job. And on the flip side of that, what's your <laughs> least favorite thing to do? Uh, mostly like troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. uh, which where that's where you figure out if you're a real electrician or not. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, basically, you know, figuring out why this outlet or light doesn't work. You got to go in there, take out an outlet, uh, check switches, fans. You know, everything. You just basically got to take everything apart, put it back together once everything's figured out. Do you have a story that you remember that it was like the most difficult thing, or it taught you so much? I remember one time you talked about you drilled a hole too big, and you were like, "Man, next time we're not gonna drill all that big." Yeah, well, there's I mean, multiple stories, uh, but I mean... Is there just one that comes to mind that you're like, oh man, this one I really, it uh, really got me. Well, there was a commercial job where I bid it and, uh, you know, they wanted copper wiring and the lengths were like, I don't know, 500 feet. And, you know, dude, I underbid it and the wiring was, you know, 50, 60, you know, and that was most of my profit. So I was like, how? how? I'm going to figure it out. But luckily the, you know, the developer helped me out and, you know, we got it, we got it done. But yeah, just make sure you, you know, <laughs> you, you're right on the money, man. Because yeah. sometimes it, they won't be so fortunate and they won't help you out like that. You yeah. Be upside yeah. down in a deal. Yeah. They won't be kind. They'll just leave it up to you, man. And you got to figure out where you're going to take money out from. So yeah, that's one of the things that, you know, don't try to, don't try to just, underbid something just to win a job you know mm. you, you can't work for free all the time so. mm, ain't that the truth mm -hmm. so um what is your ideal customer looking like if somebody's coming to you right now who, who are you looking for right now uh someone who's going to spend money man <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much who i'm looking for but i mean 
uh, just, you know, someone honest, you know, just like me. And, uh, you know, don't don't really be picky with it. Just, you know, somebody who, who's decided on what they're going to do, because sometimes we go to customers and they're just like, oh, I'm just going to get a, you know, uh, basically, I just want to get numbers or, you know, just kind of BS you and, you know, just make you waste your money on a lead or something like that. So, you know, just someone who's serious. Yes, sir. It's funny that you say that. And I did an interview with a gentleman. He puts up fences and he said the same thing about the sticker shock. And he was like, man, he just wants somebody serious because mm -hmm. it's it's an investment to invest in a quality professional such as yourself. And sometimes, I mean, cheaper is not always the best way to go. And you got to be prepared for that quality. You know, I mean, so you're not having to eventually call you because they hired somebody else and they screwed yeah. it all up. So if somebody's trying to get a hold of you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Don't be shy on your social medias or phone numbers or whatever you use. Uh, usually just uh, my number, which is 713-320-2016. Uh, and if you're looking for references or uh, uh, reviews, you can find me on Home Advisor or Yelp. Uh, you know, you can find out a little bit more about me and my company and what we do. Uh, we also have pictures there, so. Mm, perfect. So I will go ahead and link all that in the description below so that way y'all can check it out and go please give him a call if y'all need anything. Like I said, I'm Evan Salinas with EXP Realty. And I'm Mark Vega with MVJR Construction. Y'all take care.